guys welcome back to the civil engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos today our lecture is about the minimum thickness of the beams is per the aci codes aci 318 14 codes so i will show you the minimum depth or the thickness of the beams is per the aci recommendations so here is the support conditions what are the types of the beam and here i will show you right down the minimum uh, thickness of the beam uh, is when the grade 60 is used and when the grade 40 is used so what are the uh, minimum thickness of the beams the first type of beam in the first condition support condition is the simply supported the first one is the in the simply supported beam simply supported beam means that only two supports are there and just the beam is placed here and the load acts so what should be this cross section depth of the beam h what should be this h so this h should be l by 16 l by 16 and for the first one if we are using grid 60 if we are using grid 40 so it will be equal to the l by 16 into into factor what is this factor 0.4 plus fy into 100,000 so this factor when I put the values of grade 40, 40,000 here, I will get the values of 0.8 here. So this factor, total factor is equal to the 0.8. So it means in case of grade 40, it is 0.8. In, in case of other than grade 40, it may be different. And in case of 75 grade steel, it may be different. So what? So here I can write in place of this factor, this whole factor, I can write just the value of L by 16 into 0.8 because it's the whole is grid 40 so I can write this factor what is this minimum depth this is the L length of the beam and this 16 so dividing by taking an example this and this is the length of the beam is let's suppose 12 foot L is 12 foot so putting here the values uh, 12 divided by 16 we get the values of almost 0.75 foot changing into inches we get 9 inches it means that you should must provide your the thickness of the beam is 9 inches in the case of the simply supported beam your depth of the beam thickness of the beam the minimum thickness of the beam should be 9 inches it should not be less than the 9 inches while in case of the grid 40 if I multiply the 9 inches with 0.8 what I get I get 7.2 it means your beam thickness should not be less than 7.2 in case of grid 40 still when used now coming to the another type of beam this was the first simply supported beam now when I use the second type of beam is the one in continuous beam one in continuous beam it means if the beam is fixed at one position at one portion and it's moving and the another portion it means it's just one end is continuous while the one end is fixed here at the column support so here in this case what should be the thickness of this beam right what should be the thickness of this beam in this case the thickness of the beam is L divided by 18.5 here it will be L divided by 18.5 into 0.8 is a factor so here again putting the value of L the length of the beam I will get the values of let's suppose the length of the beam is also 12 foot so I will get the value of uh, 0.64 and then changing into inches I get the values equal to 8 inches it means your beam depth should not be less than 8 inches if it is one in continuous beam and in case of the grid 640 it is equal to the 6.4 inches now coming to the another type of beam I have the another type of beam is the both in continuous beam 
both in continuous. In case of this beam, the minimum depth or thickness of the beam is L by 21. Well, in this, it will be equal to the 0.8, both in continuous beam. Similarly, putting the values of length L here and dividing it by 21, so you will get the value values of the both in continuous at the minimum thickness of the beam in case of this. And both in continuous beam means that it has been continuous in both sides. Here as well as here. So it has been continuous on both sides this beam. Continuous. So here we can see that uh, the depth of this beam now here will be equal to the L by 21. Now the last one of the beam uh, depth is is a cantilever beam. And the cantilever beam is there. Cantilever beam. So its depth is equal to the L by 8. And this depth is equal to the L by 8 into 0.8 which is a factor in case of the grid 40. So you can know about the depth of the cantilever beam, the minimum depth thickness of the beam, of cantilever beam by using this formula where L is the length of the cantilever beam. For example, this is a cantilever beam. So dividing this L by 8, this is the length of the beam, you will get the minimum thickness of the beam which you should must provide. Because other than that, uh, you will not using the ECI codes, so it may be a non-destructive uh, or uh, you can say uh, not well designed beam because ECI recommends uh, to use such type of minimum thickness of the beams which they recommend and we should must use in designing by uh, by considering these codes ACI codes so this was all about the minimum thickness of the beams and subscribe our channel for more civil engineering updates